Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm also the inventor of advanced soft tissue release aster specialty. I am a cancer survival and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented aster specialty. All right, Isaac, tell me what's going on with your shoulder. What's going on with my shoulder? Uh, your clavicle. Okay, broke my clavicle I mm -hmm. fell because of a seizure. Okay. But now my shoulder, mm -hmm. my left shoulder is hurting a lot because of that. So how much pain from 0 to 10, 10 is emergency room at worst? Say about 5 or 6. 5 or 6. Sometimes reaches 7. Seven. Especially when I sleep. When you on sleep back. on your back. So uh, when did you had this, uh, like, uh, you broke your clavicle? I fell in the shower uh -huh. because of the seizure okay. around January 15th. January 15th, we are February 9th. Okay, so, and uh, how, how, can you give me a, like a brief history of your medical history? Like why you had a seizure? Um, I... I have seizures once in a while because mm -hmm. I had a stroke because of a, um, a tumor resection in okay. 2011. 2011, okay. All right. So uh, what's difficult for you to do for your shoulder now because of the clavicle fracture? Lifting things. Lifting things, yeah. okay. Especially my two-year-old daughter. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, can I see your range of motion? Just do this, the side. Okay, that's tight. And you tell me if you feel pain, okay? And the front. Oh, that's tight. Is that increasing your pain? Or you have the constant okay. five, six? Do you have constant pain? No pain? Much, yes. Yes, okay. Can you do this? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take your range of motion first and then we'll do the treatment, okay? All right, so uh, let's take over. Let's lie on your back head here. Okay. You comfortable like that? Totally fine. Okay. So put a uh, pillow here, lift your head up. Okay, and can you get something for his knee, please? So, um, I, will, I will have you go up like this and I will take your range of motion. And get this number. Okay. So, this is about, oh, 90, it's about 95. Okay. Okay. Stop, down. We're gonna go upward like this. You're gonna bring it toward your ear straight, your elbow straight and bring it to your, toward your ear. No, no, no. Elbow straight like this. You know, closer to your ear, like go in this direction. That's a straight elbow, straight elbow. Beautiful, good. And keep your elbow straight while you bring it up. Is that painful? That's no. It's just difficult to keep it's just, my elbow it's just straight tight. because. Yeah. My uh, it's ninety degrees. My flexors take over. Ninety degrees. My extensors. Oh, okay, ninety degrees. So we're gonna have it here okay bring your hand down this way that's normal okay the other way that's normal so flexion and abduction okay so um is it okay to i will just move this out okay all right make sure what i'm doing is not causing pain do you feel pain here no this is where you had the fracture yes okay so just relax and let me know if you feel anything can you give me A1, please? Is that painful here? No. So, did you, did your doctor says did your fracture healed or close it's, to heal? It's healing. It's healing? Okay. Is that painful what I'm doing here? No. Okay. So, make sure this is not painful. You're gonna take this. So you feel weaknesses and you feel pain, constant pain. The constant pain you said in the back here, mm -hmm. or you feel it in the front too? Mm -hmm. Where you pointed in the back. 
in the back that's most of your pain yes and I feel the tightness here okay right in here Let me know if that's painful, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just releasing your soft tissue. Make sure it's not aggravating your symptoms. And we're going to take the range of motion after that. that. So your flexion was 95 and 90. abduction. 90. 90. Okay. That's a quiz, okay? Okay. <laughs> How to remember that? Remember that. Remember your numbers. Okay. And this is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll release that. And let me know if that's too much, okay? It was fine. Mm -hmm. Didn't know I came for massage therapy. Thank you. That feels good, actually. This <laughs> is not massage. This is <laughs> aster. It's actually... Massage does not treat dysfunctions. Okay. Uh, massage is just for wellness. Uh, I invented this instrument. It's uh, to get to the source of the problem. Oh, I see. To release um, you know, scar tissue, fascia restrictions, instead of infusing my hands. And that's what I teach therapists and doctor to utilize aster instrument uh, to get to the root of the problem. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So it's called Aster. Aster? Yep. Mm -hmm. Advanced soft tissue. That's what it's standing for. I will show you the scar tissue. I'm just doing some release here. You feel this knot here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's because for the past six years I haven't really been using full range of motion. Full range so of motion? Just, yeah. Yeah. So it's. Ooh. Is that painful? No, in a good way, like deep tissue massage sort of feeling, mm, yeah. but not I don't pain. want it to feel pain, okay? Because there is fine line between actually breaking scar tissue and causing the scar tissue. Okay. So make sure while I'm, what I'm doing is not painful. I will have you sit up for me, because I want you to take this, uh, this part off. So. Alright, actually, let's uh, turn around. Let me sit on, on the edge of the table. Yeah. It's gonna feel cold. I'm gonna uh, break your scar tissue. Make sure it's not painful, okay? Okay. And I will show you the scar tissue. You feel this bump here? Okay, you feel how nice and smooth? Mm -hmm. It's going the yeah. the instrument going and yeah. compare it to this. You feel yeah, this bump? Feel that, yeah. That's a scar tissue. Okay. Uh, with any accident or trauma or falls or anything like that, our body has to go through three stages in order to heal. First the stage is swelling. It's called inflammation. You get swelling, edema, redness, but start to rush to that area. Second stage is called proliferation. That's when the body builds the scar tissue. So, for example, if you have external cut, if your body does not build the scar tissue, it's open wound susceptible for infection. So our body has to build that in order to heal. So the and the last stage is called maturation, and that's when everything clears up and uh, the body scar heals. Dissolves. The scar dissolves. Mm -hmm. That's in perfect scenario. Could have it takes days, weeks, months, or years, and uh, sometimes does not happen. You know, patient just is stuck in proliferation stage or the inflammation stage. So what I do with this instrument is actually try to transition this so process. Is all that faster. tumor come taking helping? Hmm? Is all that tumor come taking helping? Well, tumor to use for inflammation. Uh, for scar tissue, um, the most effective way is mechanical um, breaking with instrument. Even with the hand is not is not effective to break scar mm -hmm. tissue. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I have we have to apply mechanical force. That's why I invented this instrument to help to build that uh, 
fibrosis or scar tissue. Um, yeah, I used to use soft tissue like and even massage. It's hard on the hand to break it, and also it's hard hard on the therapist to what about hand. the elbow. And the elbow is closer yeah. to the aster. No, it's no, not. No? It's it's painful for the patient. So there's fine line between breaking the scar tissue and causing the scar tissue. And if you, if the therapist is very rough and using their elbow, they actually cause micro trauma internally and that will start a new scar tissue. So it's a vicious cycle. Okay. So uh, that's, uh, yeah, the elbow, I don't recommend that. And I feel bad for the therapist using that because it's a lot of work, you know. It is, Compa yeah. Compared to using like just, uh, the ergonomically designed instrument uh -huh. to, to break the scar tissue or release the fascia. Like, I I don't feel like really doing hard work, oh, yeah. you know, just working. The instrument does most of the work for me. And and the feedback I had from therapists who took the class, that they actually can feel the scar tissue better with the innocent in their hands. Then, then, then leading they, their weight in with their, yeah, their elbow. Or, or yeah. even palpating. You can feel the scar tissue easier with the innocent oh, than the hand. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. So uh, let's actually get the front view and want to take your range of motion. Just lift your arm up and see how far you can go now. Can you tell the difference? Do it again. Look at that. Good. Let's do it just a straight forward and to the side. Okay, and we'll have you lie on your your back. We'll take the range of motion. How is the pain? Do you feel pain now, or it's gone? No pain. No pain. Okay. So I'm gonna take the range of motion. Let's do the flexion. That was 95 degrees. Let's see how far we can go. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Wow. That was 95, now is 175. Normal is 180. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at awesome. that. Are you trying to show off here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make you look good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like good range of motion. Yeah, bring it back, back, and see how far we can go with that. That was 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Is that as far as you can go? Now with elbow straight, and it is... One sexy, beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, sit up for me. I really do feel like you rele like release it? some stuff. Yeah, yeah awesome. It's a lot of junk going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, what do you think about acid treatment? Just uh, the few minutes of treatment. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it felt good. You feel the difference? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Is this gonna be the Feel free to subscribe to my channel uh, to get updates about helpful uh, information and tips and tricks on how to relieve uh, your pain and your patient pain. Um, also, there's over 170 video, most of them actually real treatment videos. Um, I'm showing how I use uh, Aster instrument uh, on the patient and um, you can actually see the result uh, in the video with the real treatment videos. Uh, if you are a healthcare provider, feel free to register for ASER class. Uh, so to learn how to actually treat your patient uh, effectively. In ASER class, I actually utilize over a 400 research study. That's actually what I use uh, as part of the treatment. And that's what I will go over with the health practitioner to learn how to practice effectively based on research study. See you soon.